going to have to shovel all that out. A lot of these blocks had uh, purposes once for using this jack to pop ends of the logs up. Done quite a bit of milling on this little setup, but it's just uh, just right in between. It's a good size for to start up with, but I want to expand the milling at one stage, and it's <clears throat> just as a one-man operation, it was just too hard. I wanted to get a hydraulic option, and then I decided I'd go back into the firewood. So for now, just uh, just a little bit too small. shovel this and maybe even just put the wheels back on it and tow it out of here. Cleaned up here with the loader might be the better option. Let's see if I can get these legs up. that build up like that kicking myself even on the bed the last time we used it here me I'm just gonna have to tow this out of here what a disgrace well that was a mission I probably should have just towed that out before I started this video but anyway lesson learnt look after your gear I didn't put the travel pack on, I've just ratchet strapped that so I could clean it and if somebody buys it I'll, uh, I'll be able to give them a quick demo on how to use it. Got the petrol pressure cleaner here. I've got no pump set up at the moment so running a siphon set up into the pod just off the little work container. Works well for pressure cleaning on the go. Well, I should be ashamed of myself for that. That's that was a disgrace. Anyway, a lot of surface rust coming through because of the cypress pine sawdust left laying on here. It's really acidic that stuff and showing 244 hours on the hour meter. I service it every oh, 
15 or 20 I think it's in the manual been a good machine if we get another mill it's going to be hydraulic so a lot of a lot of work in this anyway hopefully I can sell it